Hey guys, this is just an old recording that I did of our travels with my old partner June before he passed away and Mike. Traveling on an adventure we was going to, but this was talking about some other adventures that we'd like to go on and talking about some things that we knew about. Some columns carved in a cliff wall and about some gold up the Yellowstone River and, and what looked like to be an old Viking sword that was found up the Yellowstone River in the Utah Uinta Mountains. I hope you enjoy this. But if you happen to know of some things in these areas, man, leave a comment and share it with the rest of us. And don't forget to hit that like button. I don't know if it helps me if YouTube or not, but it sure makes me feel good. And with that said, man, I appreciate you. And here's our road trip. Tell me the story about it. Well, you know, I was the pilot that took those aerial GPR uh -huh. shots of those maps that I get tuned there. Mm -hmm. seen that rock structure when he was flying over because he was supposed to stay on the flight path. He wasn't to divert it because once that machine's on you just want to just want to take a steady flight right across. Well he turned it off and he swung back around and on the driver's side of the cockpit flew alongside that ledge and seen the building. It looked, it looked like an actual building. It's, yeah, it's the, the, the pillars are actually carved in the cliff. Really? It's not like they built the pillars separate by stacking rocks. Like them one down in Arizona. And then there's uh, the ones over in the uh, Egypt area where they found that whole big mountain and all of that stuff is carved right That's out right, of the yeah. rock. Are you talking about the Seven Sisters? No, the Seven Sisters are... They're right down here in Bonanza, too. What's the seven sisters? The big columns of rock sticking up way up the desert out there. Somebody stacked up some type of ceremonial. Or they're, no, nobody's sure exactly. It looks like Stonehenge out there. Oh, right. out of Bonanza? Yeah. Yeah, it's out of the Bonanza Road out there. Out there, it's uh, Sea Bridge, over towards Sea Bridge, the side of the power plant. But the uh, pilot stated that there was an actual entrance in between them columns. Oh, yeah, I, I... The, the columns are carved right out of the cliff. Now, where were the columns? Huh? Where were the columns? They're, uh, they're right in front of the ledge. They're actually in the ledge. They're carved. The pilot said they're carved right in the ledge. What are they on that? What, what line? It would be a, it would be a west-facing ledge. Is that? Shows on that copper map. Oh. This could be that temple. That's because what I'm this, saying. Yeah, this this temple would be uh, this rock structure would be on the it would be on the north fort. On horseback it's about eighteen miles. One day's ride. So but I think I've got Flying J interested in taking a uh, packing back in there and, ch and checking that out. So why would Flying J be in? Do they have some kind of a foundation? Well, I don't know about a foundation. Um, I don't know. I've never seen it, but from what the, he describes, the rock, the rock ledge is the foundation itself. No, it's Flying J. Oh, have a foundation. Why no, they don't know. Flying J is an outfitters. Oh, it's an outfitters. They out, they outfit people hunting and fishing. Uh -huh. They get people come to them once in a while and want packed back into the UNAs looking for Spanish gold. But she told me day before yesterday that uh, that when he, they take people up there to explore them, they make them stay with the horses and stay at camp because they don't want them following them or knowing where they're at, where they're at or what they're doing. Right. And I told her, well, I says, I'm not quite like that. I said, if you guys outfit back in there and we find this rock structure, we ought to actually do a documentary on it. Some type of personal documentary, videotape it, so if there is anything in there, it's not taken out of context. So, so how, you got the story from, how do you know the from, area it's at, how do you know? Because of the map, the GPR coordinate on the map, and the pilot. You talked to the pilot? Yeah, I talked Have to the pilot. you seen that? Yeah. Yeah, he, and he's old. And like I say, he might, he might even be dead now. Oh. I've had these maps for a while. I just haven't had the means or the capital. Yeah, yeah. You know, because it takes money. To, oh, oh. 
it's an incredible amount of money to go out there and do things like that. Even for me living in Duchesne, if I took, now I can take a four wheeler and I can get up on Dry Ridge and I can get right on the old Spanish trail right behind Big Dog Lake. And on the shaft, it would, it's about a two and a half hour hike to the shaft. But if a guy got with the program, and I can't, we're, I'm older now, I have to stop every once in a while and take a break. Yeah. And I'm probably, just to get to where that shaft is, I'm 10 breaks. <laughs> yeah. To get across from East Basin up there, if you were to hike that. So this guy had him along his map, and he was going to go there and check it out, and he never, never made it, or he did, or is this where he got, well, I don't, where he fell and died? Yeah, I don't know if he ever went to any of these locations that were on these maps. Uh, I know that he actually worked for worked for a government agency that went around the country and around the world taking these cheap these fixed wheel GPR uh -huh. uh, shots. Now as far as him getting out explored, right. he never did tell me that he ever went to any of these places, but he did tell some folks about where some of this stuff was. And he's he said I'm sure that they probably went there and checked some of these spots out. And then he marked those um, on the map in pink. That said that somebody's already went there and looked at that. Oh, yeah. There's an ancient structure carved out of a mountain, man. I'm extremely interested in that. See sure. what that is. Where's that at, Jerry? No, no. Mike's talking about it. Huh? Whatever Mike's talking about. Oh. There's an ancient, some ancient structures up at the head of Yellowstone. Now, I don't know exactly rock structures. Yeah, I've, I've there is. Yeah. Did I tell you about that? Uh, right after the floods in '83, I went up there the Yellowstone, the Yellowstone River there, just above the Yellowstone Ranch, or just barely above the Yellowstone Ranch, and I was hiking that that uh, riverbed, that river, but it, the floods had come and gone. And, but that flood was, that flood zone was so wide. Anyways, in one of the areas, there was, there was a rock that had a strip of gold across it, like somebody drug a bar across it on edge. I mean, it was a, just a sliver. I had my hands full of my metal, tip, my two box, my other stuff. So I was going to go always go back and get that rock, and I never ever did. <laughs> How big? Uh, the the rock? rock? It was a fairly big rock. But I could. I could have carried it. it. It's taken all I had to carry it, but it had a strip of gold, and it was it was like it was fresh. It wasn't it wasn't in a crack or anything. It was on the outside of it, of the rock, like somebody drug a bar, or maybe it rolled across the bar. I don't know. This rock during well, the flood. I don't know. When I go hunting, if I have my barrel, my rifle sticking out too far, it'll put a big gouge in a rock and it'll scratch my barrel of goods you know I can see a guy packing or carrying something on his horse or a pack animal well, during the flood. sticking out too far and have it catch a rock during a flood that stuff can be torn right out of its place and pushed down the river yeah I know that too. maybe 10 or 15 miles yeah, away from where it was that was during the big floods that was a lot of it was just above the Yellowstone Ranch. Well, I tell you, they've sure done a lot of work to that place. I have been there since the 80s. The Crystal Ranch. Oh, yeah? No, they've done a lot of work there. Tourers used to have a place on the Yellowstone. But I never never knew where it was. But he did have a, a home on the Yellowstone. And then he lived over in uh, Altamont area, actually two or three doors away from Don Foot. Well, you know, there's been actual Viking evidence found up in Yellowstone, too. I didn't know that. Yeah, there's a sword, a Viking sword. Crazy Mike over here in Roosevelt. He used to keep it under his Rottweiler's doghouse, and then he sold it. He found it in the crack of the ledge really? down in the bottom in Yellowstone there, up from the head trail. Really? What did it look like? It had, it had some inlays in it, it had some uh, precious stone inlays in the handle. Good. 
a nice looking too. It was actually in pretty good shape. Not real rusty. It was out of the weather. And he ended up taking it. I seen it. He, he took me over to his house and lifted up his Rottweiler's doghouse and grabbed it out of there.